Hello, and welcome to another episode of Better Cocktails at Home. I'm Brian Johnson, and we are here in the Quarter Deck Club, our home bar, and we are making a tiki drink in this episode. It is called the Following Capricorn. Um, I made this myself, and so it's kind of a winter reference to the Tropic of Capricorn, which is facing the sun and the winter solstice. solstice. Um, so yeah, we're going to make it, we're going to shake it because it has a lot of citrus in it. Um, and it's really tasty, it has a really beautiful red color to it, and it's also very simple to make. So well, let's get started adding our ingredients. So first up is Jamaican rum. I'm just using Appleton's signature here. Um, I find this kind of be like a workhorse rum for me. Um, and Tiki drinks, if it's calling for Jamaican. I'm gonna do two ounces of this. And we're gonna add that into our shaker. And next up, we'll do one ounce of cr spiced cranberry syrup. Um, we created a video on how to make this. It's really simple, um, but it's kind of a cranberry just adds that kind of wintry taste, especially for those of you in the US and Northern Hemisphere. Um, so it kind of just gives it a wintry note. We'll do one ounce of this and we'll add that in. Um, now we're going to do one and a half ounces of lime juice. I like my drinks with lots of lime, so that's why we're going to do it with lots of lime. All right, now we're of course going to do our fine mesh strain of the pulp before I pour this in, just because we're going to be not doing a fine strain before we do our actual like final serving in the glass. And we're almost there. Just a little bit more. All right, there is one half ounces of lime juice. Uh, next ingredient is ramazzotti. So this is an Italian Amaro. Um, has a little bit of a savory note to it, some bitterness, um, just lots of flavor to it. And I actually find myself putting Amaros in a lot of tiki drinks that I create, um, just because I think it adds a lot of depth of flavor and a little bit of bitterness, which I think goes well against some of the sweetness that you find in some tiki style drinks. So I'm gonna do half ounce of this. And add that in. Finish this off, add a little more spice to the drink. We're gonna do three dashes of Angostura bitters. And that's pretty much everything that's gonna be going into this. So let us get some ice. We're gonna shake this up and then we're gonna serve it and we're gonna drink it. It's gonna be delicious. All right, so nice good shake on it. That adds water to the drink, which is really important. Chills it obviously. Now I'm going to strain this into kind of a nice balloon glass. Nice ruby red. I'm gonna pour it in. And then now we're gonna add our ice to Add lots of ice. And then finally for a garnish, we're gonna use mint. So mint just gives it a beautiful aroma to it. Um, and then you wanna simply slap the mint um, just to release, release some of the oils in it and then place it right by the straw. So when you go to take a sip, you get that 
aroma and it mixes with the flavors and it's a really great combination. So there's our drink. Let's give it a try. Yeah, it's, um, I really like this drink. Uh, I made a couple variations of it. This is one of them. I made another variation I also really liked. Um, but this one just has, um, like I said, you get a little bit of the, the cranberry adds cranberry taste to it. So that's kind of like a winter association already for us, at least in the Northern hemisphere here in, in the United States, particularly. Um, and then you get some spice from the bitters and then you get a little bit of bit more bitterness from the Ram Ramazzotti. Um, and yeah, I just really love this drink and just really nice to sip on, super simple. And because I use such a large dose of lime, it still is a lot of lime. It's not too sweet at all. Um, and that's just kind of my style of drinks when I make them. But um, yeah, so that's my take. Um, on a drink and I call it following Capricorn. If you make it, let me know how, what you think of it, how it tastes. Um, if you sub anything out, I'm always curious on how that tastes. But thanks for watching this episode of Better Cocktails at Home and we'll see you next time.